Sue Black. I'm the head distiller at Ben and Tote Distillery here in Torresdale Estate. All the gins that we make are made here on site using the entirely hyd run on hydroelectricity and um, using the spring water from the estate. There are 12 botanicals in our gin. The two that are unique to us are sheep sorrel and Icelandic moss, which is a lichen that grows in the trees. And both of those are reflective of the wonderful environment that we live and work in here in the mud of Kintyre. So when you taste our gin, it's very much a, a, pro a prominent juniper led gin, but you have a very delicate floral and citrus mid palate, and then um, a lingering dry finish from the juniper and cuba berries. My name's Ian McAllister. I'm the distillery manager, master distillery at Glen Scotia Distillery, which is obviously one of three distilleries in the region of Campbelltown, which is one of the smallest regions in Scotland. We're looking to uphold the Glen Scotia style, uh, which will potentially be a fruity, spicy, uh, waxy, oily uh, whiskey with a lovely balanced salinity. So you're really looking for that um, full balance, uh, you know, and that's really important. Potentially could be a little bit of peat in there too, and hopefully you all get a chance to try them. Slanger. I'm Graeme Logan, I'm Jura Distillery Manager. I've been manager for the last four years, but I have worked here for 28 years. Well, obviously Jura is beside the sea. It was the distillery was built there for that reason because all the supplies for the distillery, coal, grain, casks, would come in via the sea. But another good thing here is we have the Gulf Stream, which makes the island very temperate. But that's good in maturation because it allows your casks to breathe for longer. Jura Distillery, it's been here since 1810, was mothball for 60 years. The second reopening was in 1963, but it was a totally different style of whiskey. We have really tall stills, so it only allows the most lightest, most floral flavours to reach the top. All the heavier flavours get recondensed and they get redistilled, so it makes your spirit lighter and more stronger. Hi, uh, my name's Lily. We are at Adnaho Distillery, the ninth and newest distillery on Isla on the west coast of Scotland. Even though we're the newest distillery on Isla, we have gone back to the really old fashioned traditional ways of distilling. Whiskey here. You can see we've got traditional worm tub condensers, wooden wash backs, and it really is just down to the craft of the boys and girls making the spirit here. The boys chose this location mainly for spectacular views over to the Isle of Jura there and the Taps of Jura, and we've got a really, really close water source to us as well. We are aiming for a traditional, heavily peated island side of whiskey. We're in a really fortunate position to be able to release it when it's ready. So my guess is that it could be anything within five and eight years time. I'm Eileen Geeky. I'm uh, one of the co-founders of Wild Time Spirits Limited, based on the Isle of Collinsey. We make Collinsey gin which is a premium small batch artisan spirit. We have seven key botanicals in our gin. Juniper obviously being the main botanical. We also have orange peel, coriander seed, calamus root, licorice root, orris root powder, and some angelica root as well in there. It's bottled at 47% ABV. So a little stronger than some of the artisan gins, but a very, very smooth gin. Oh, 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 oh,